Hey guys, what up? It's Goose TV here again today. Today, back with another Mad Mole video on my channel. On today's video, guys, we've got another tournament one for you today. And uh, today's one is called Around the World. Basically, the tournament, you get three drives from the opponent's 25 or... I don't, I don't even know. It might be your opponent's 25. I think it is your opponent's 25 um, yard line. And uh, each drive, it, you have a different playbook. There's... Short pass, PA pass, and run, which is actually a kind of really cool concept. We're going to be doing a couple drives for you guys, and I'm going to be breaking down the tournament rewards, just what you guys always love. Do this every single week for the tournaments that are, are out. So uh, let's let's go over the rewards right now, because uh, that's probably what most of you are here for. But um, in tier one, you have a gold troop pack, a coach, and a or two Jack Del Rio co gold coach pack and power line daily pack. Um, in my opinion, you just go for the gold true pack. You're always able to sell those. And, uh, I mean, unless you want to upgrade your Del Rio coach or you, like, doubt, uh, the power line daily pack. Um, but I would most likely, uh, go with the gold true pack. The second one is four times your gold coach, or gold your choice coach, 150 cash, or a legend collectible pack. In my opinion, legend collectible pack is the most valuable thing here, at least coin-wise, of course, because other things you can't sell. But um, the legend collectibles are going for a ton. If you save, you know, 10 of them up, or even 20, you have yourself a legend player. So that's really important. Um, so I would probably go with the legend collectible uh tier three we've got two times man mint proof coin uh we got a 10 times gearbox stamina booster and a 10,000 training point now if you're trying to upgrade your team and get a really good team um go with that don't go with the gearbox stamina booster and if you're even close or you're thinking about completing the man mint proof coin do that but in my opinion go with the 10,000 training points for number four, tier four, these are, in my opinion, some of the better rewards. We got 1,000 stamina, three legends collectible packs, and 10 showdown badges. Now, if you're been if you've been playing the game a while, and you know you've been grinding it for a while, you should have Mac already. Um, but for some reason, if you don't and you want to complete him, definitely go with the 10 showdown badges. Um, other than that, I would probably say go with the three legend collectible. Once again, they're like 150k each, so that's saving you like 450k right there. Or, you know, if you're just looking to play a ton of live events, get the stamina. But in my opinion, I would get the legends collectible. And in the final tier, we have an elite stacked player, uh, an elite coach, or a 50k quick sell pack, which is a Madden Vault pack. It all depends on what, you know, what you prefer um i believe the stack player is not auctionable or else they'll those prices would go so far down because there's not a you know a huge variety of them to pull um but it depends if you want to if you want to have them on your team or use them as training points uh you can go right ahead and do that you know or if you're looking for some coins or at least you know you're guaranteed at least 50k so if you want that go with the quick sell pack um i would not recommend the elite coach pack only because they're super hard to upgrade and as long as you upgrade gold or even silver coaches, they're going to have boosts that are that can be better than elite coaches because they're so hard to upgrade. So those are the rewards. Uh, I'm not going for tier five, uh, mainly because I don't have enough tickets. And in my opinion, the rewards aren't, you know, that amazing this year. I'm waiting or this year, this week, I'm waiting for a tournament there where there's just a ton of really good rewards, like a Thanksgiving tournament that I'm guessing will be coming, stuff like that. Um, but let's do this. So the rules... Um, this week's tournament, you get three drives in a head-to-head -head match. Drive starts from the opponent's 25-yard line. You have 30 minutes to complete your drive and score a touchdown. Uh, each drive will have a unique playbook. Run, short pass, and PA pass. Um, you get zero points if you throw an uh, interception, obviously. And ties are scored, uh, decided by who scores the fastest. So let's do this. Um, I think this is going to be really fun. And we're playing a ridiculous matchup already. <laughs> good start, good start. But yeah, so I believe we start with run. Then I think it's short, then PA pass. The short and PA pass may be flipped, but um, let's just get this on your way. If this will load. There we go. Here we go. We're starting with run. As you can see, you can only choose a run play or all the run plays that you have. Um, let's start with an HB dive week here. Um, we'll see what we can get on this defense from the start. And we get nothing because it is countered. I'm sure a lot of people are going to have this stuff countered. Of course. Wow. Okay. Cohen fumbles. And he picks it up. Good start. So now we're doing short pass. All right, let's do um, 
empty trip stick and throw that to Devontae Adams. Uh, he's double covered though. Probably not going to catch it. Yeah, he got interfered with a little bit. But then again, let's try Tripp's HB screen and throw that to Williams here. Oh yeah, that's right there. Boom, there's a touchdown. I like that. Uh, PAFL fly is always a good play. Uh, let's throw that to Devontae Adams. I'm surprised this actually isn't countered because a lot of people have this countered. One-on-one -on -one coverage and... Oh, he didn't get in. Uh, that kind of sucks. And it, we have to do a pass play, of course. Uh, I know exactly what I want to do here, and we're going to throw this to J.J. Watt, who's going to cut sideways. Please don't get picked off. I don't think that was a touchdown. Oh, it is. Okay. Uh, that's nice. We'll take that. I like some of the rules they've been doing for tournaments. I think some of them are actually a pretty cool idea. So let's uh, start it out pretty good with a HP dive week. Let's see if we can get any yardage here. There we go. Good, good block and Cohen. I forget Cohen can't truck. I need a better running back. I do have. I'm gonna have a ton of coins though. So eventually, um, I'm definitely gonna invest in a better running back. Didn't mean to select that play at all. We got HB gut, I guess. Um, we should have that first down. Yeah, maybe even a touchdown here. Pull off that block. There we go. Nice little touchdown there for Cohen. Um, of course, always got to do that strong eye HB toss. And. Get that two-point conversion. Good start. Uh, next drive here. Let's do... What do we want to do? Let's do a smash. Let's see if this has not countered. Let's see if Cohen can get some yardage here. It's not countered. We'll run with Poe. Throw it to Cohen, who's open. Okay, he's not open. Ooh, I like that red route. I like that route by Adam. Let's throw it to him. Oh, he's open. Wide open. Look at that route. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Didn't score a touchdown, but uh, we got the first down, which is good. Let's do a trip strong flood, see if Watt will be open. He can run it into the end zone. There we go. That's what we like to see. Uh, he didn't score his first drive, so as long as we score this touchdown, we'll be good. Um, and now we got a PA pass. Strong IPA, tight end corner. Let's see what we can get going here. Williams cut and touched. Oh, he had it in his hands. Uh, PFL fly will do that again. Throw that up to Adams. It's got one-on-one -on -one coverage, and we'll catch for a touchdown. There we go. Secured that little dub there. Let's do this play here. Get it out to Collins. There we go. He's open all the time, as long as that's not countered. Um, but that's just about going to do it for this video, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know your thoughts of this tournament. There, you know, If you're looking forward to some other tournaments, what rewards you're going to choose. Um, if you're going to go all the way to Tier 5, Tier 4, whatever you want to do. But anyways, guys, that's just about it for this video. I hope you guys did enjoy it. If you did, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'm the Goose TV, and I'm out. I'll see you guys later.